Hey YouTube, Jonathan here. I've got a unboxing here for you. This one is a Alex Wink Ink Michael $100 boardroom mystery box. Uh, spoiler alert, I went ahead and opened this and this wasn't exactly what I had expected. Um, and I bought this back in January. This was supposed to be part of a whatnot stream that he did, um, I want to say February 3rd. So I had purchased it before the live stream. And uh, so he just gotten back into selling on whatnot again. He took like a little hiatus. I want to say like the last show was maybe like November, December, which I bought uh, a mystery box from him. I bought three mystery boxes total now. This is my, again, my third one. And so I've watched him sell books, boxes before on whatnot. I've watched other people in the community buy these and unbox these. So I was very excited to, to get this in the mail. And support him and like I said I, I've always seen the value of the items that are in the box and and it's always overvalue it's always a box that um, you never know what you're gonna get but generally like I said it's an overvalue uh, mystery box so when I saw that this was coming up I grabbed one right away because these do sell out very fast at least on whatnot so uh, just like I said quick quick story here um, he, like I said, he was just getting back onto whatnot. So he said, hey, thanks for grabbing a box, man. I really appreciate you always being in here with me. Again, he knows me from whatnot. He doesn't really know me on YouTube. Uh, I don't think he's ever watched my um, unboxings of his uh, mystery boxes. Yeah, I want to let you know that whatnot is dinging me for not shipping out these boxes that were pre-ordered. They never used to do that, so I'm not sure what changed. I'm going to go ahead out and send this your way. Please let me know your feedback. Sorry for the issue here, as I would have preferred to open this live. I guess I need not to preload this stuff so early, laughing out loud. So yeah, whatnot kind of changed things around, um, and I've learned this firsthand because I was doing a, a Black Friday sale, and I had loaded my, my Buy It Now before the sale, and people were buying stuff in my Buy It Now before the show, and then I was required to ship it basically within three days of when they bought it, which was before the show that was like on that Friday. So... Again, I understand what he was saying when he said he had to ship this out, that he wanted to show it live. So totally, totally legit, you know, response and everything. So again, normally I would have seen this live on whatnot. And uh, like I said, I didn't get a chance to do that. So I kind of peeked at this and my initial reaction was, like I said, not a positive one, but I don't want to put this as a negative video against him or anything. So I'm just going to show you uh, the, one of the hits that I gotten from a previous mystery box. Uh, this one here is Secret Avengers number 23. This is a second printing. This is the first appearance of Agent Venom. At the time, this was maybe like a $150 book. I think this has gone down significantly. The second printing does have more value than the first one. I want to say this is maybe like a $100 book now. Uh, next book here. Again, this at the time, the market was different. This was a more expensive book at the time when I got it. Now I think it's come down. It might be, you know, like a $100 book again. Uh, still... It's, it's, it's held as $100 that I had bought originally. So this is Wolverine number 8. It's got the classic John Bushima cover. It is a 9.2. But at the time, like I said, this was this was definitely a value when I bought it. So considering, like I said, those two books, I was very happy with when I bought this originally. So when I got this box, like I said, I was expecting something very similar to this. The money is in the slab, and the raw books are essentially like gravy on top. So uh, this was, again, $100 boardroom mystery box uh this says the floor is 160 the ceiling is 225 the average is 180 you get one graded comic book seven raw books at least one book signed with the coa again i don't know that this is the floor and i don't know that if this is the ceiling i didn't actually get to see anybody open these from this uh round there was only four boxes uh at a hundred dollars again uh, if you get his mystery boxes you typically get like a Marvel trading cards, some kind of cards, and then usually like hero clicks. Uh, it's not every single one, but typically that's how I've noticed. You know, the last two boxes had hero clicks and some um, trading cards. So this one's cool. This one's going to stay in the collection. This, this is the Punisher. Uh, this one's pretty cool, too. This will probably keep as well. It's Harley Quinn. And then, again, these are mostly like DC heavy, and I think this is Doomsday. So this is cool. I don't really collect hero clicks, but I, I thought it was a nice gesture. Again, it's it's nice added touch to the mystery box. So we're going to go into the raw books first. Uh, the first book here, I don't know what it is. Uh, I would imagine this is some kind of Carnage book. It's a you know, virgin variant. 
no, no idea who it is, but it's in the Mylar. Uh, definitely a book I'd probably keep just, you know, based off of the cover. This next book, I'm not a Lady Death collector or, or into that. So this, I believe, is Cataclysmic Majesty Number 2, Elite Edition. Uh, this is signed, I want to say, by uh, Brian Pulido. And it's uh, signed here in, like, I think bronze on the cover. So, again, not, not really a PC book for me. Uh, next book here, Champions Outlaw. Outlawed. This is Marvel Zombies variant. So, cool, cool number one. Not sure if it's going to be something I end up keeping. I don't think there's really any significance of that book. Next one here is Green Lantern number one forty-five. It's a sixty cent cover book. Not a huge Green Lantern fan. I do do like the character, but uh, I'm more interested in like Silver Age uh, Green Lantern books. This one I I want to say is probably just a, a pure cover by. The beautiful cover of Angela, Guardians of the Galaxy, number six. Next two books, I would say, are going to be PC books for me. I, I don't have this book. It's uh, X-Men, number 62, Now Strikes Kazar, or Kazar. Not a book I have. It, it uh, does have a lot of spineware. It's, it's not a perfect book, but obviously the, the Mylar makes it look beautiful. Trying to get that X-Men run going, at least... Um, to like 94 or when it reprints and then there i don't know uh this next book i i was kind of su surprised or shocked to see it there again that that x-men book is maybe like a 15 20 book i think a lot of people ask more for it online but if you look at like the sold comps in that um condition i would say it's like a 15 20 book uh next one here is uh plastic man it's a 10 cent book that's uh, number 60 and uh unfortunately this this cover is uh it's very sun faded or or worn uh, I looked at a comp on eBay. It was brighter. Um, that book that was on eBay, I want to say it was like $40. Um, I, I probably wouldn't value this th that high, uh, considering that it's, like I said, it's faded. And I, I don't think it's as in, good, as in good condition as that one. It's got a lot of spine stress wear. But it's definitely a nice book. I'm going to keep it. So here is the, 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 the book in question, the book that kind of like I said, made me scratch my head in all honesty, because, uh, I, I, you know, it was bubble wrap really well. And it just made me kind of, uh, I kind of peeked through the bubble wrap. I wanted to see what, what it was. Uh, so the first thing I ended up seeing through the bubble wrap was new 52. So I was like, wow, this is a modern book, right? I didn't know what the grade was. Right. And I looked at it. It was, Oh, nine, six. So on the slab itself, there's a $150, uh, price tag on it. That was from him. It wasn't, you know, from me. Um, I didn't know what the significance of what this book is. Uh, this is from 2013. Um, part of the Death of the Family. It's a Greg Capullo cover, and it's a sketch cover. So I went to go look online, and uh, apparently this is like a 1 in 100 uh, ratio variant. I'm not really into ratio covers and stuff like that. Uh, if I were to tell you, like, I, I'm more of a bronze and silver age Batman collector. Uh, modern stuff doesn't really, like, really appeal to me. So this book is definitely not something I'm going to keep in the PC. I had to go look and see what the value of this book was. First thing I did was I went on to eBay, and I saw that my comic book shop had a older CGC label uh, at 100 bucks. Uh, I have eBay's uh, Terra Peak. If you're not aware of what that is, you can look up an item. And see if it has any watchers, how long it's been listed. So this book was listed pretty much after I bought the book from him. So he wasn't able to go on eBay to see that someone had this listed for 100 bucks. Otherwise, I don't think he would have valued it or saw that the value was 150 um, I ended up going on to, um, I want to say, Go Collect and Cover Price. And I was able to find the value of a 9.6 on Go Collect. And I want to say the last sold was maybe 2017 or 15. And it was at $64, $68. So that's what kind of threw me off on this whole purchase of this, this mystery slab. Is because typically like a $50 to $65 um, slab is like a $50 mystery box in, in his realm. Uh, so this book was definitely not an overvalued book. It didn't pay the price of admission to the mystery box. So I kind of was like wondering what should I do? Should I say anything about it? I mean he sent me a message saying... You know, please let me know your feedback. So I kind of thought about it and I'm like, I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to tell him like, I wasn't really like, 
like thrilled with the box like i was kind of scratching my head because of the value only because you know this this is supposed to be a um 160 floor and i just didn't even see the floor there i, I almost didn't even see the price that i paid for the box because it's a hundred dollars for the box like 835 shipping eight something for tax so i'm like 116 in the whole box if i were to go and sell everything i and then you know you have to factor in shipping you have to factor in fees from ebay I would pretty much lose on this box. So that's kind of what was in my mind when I had gotten this box and I looked at the numbers and I looked at everything. You know, I let him know. And again, I'm nobody. I'm, I'm nobody. Um, I'm just, I'm just a, a, a buyer on whatnot. Um, I wasn't looking to complain to get anything out of it. I just was giving him my honest t you know, feedback to him. Uh, he handled this as a true professional, like, like I know that he is. He's like he's like I said a great member of the community. He was telling me that um, he didn't really. F this was like a unicorn of a book to him because uh, it was one hundred one in one hundred ratio, and he didn't see anything out there as far as comps or anything. So I do believe it was a mistake on his behalf. Um, you know he was very apologetic, and he said I wanted to make it right. Uh, he wanted to ask me for my address to send out another book, and essentially I told him I said you know that's not necessary. Um, typically, you know, you buy a mystery box, it's, you know, it's, you never know what you're going to get, you know, it's not, sometimes it's not what you expect at the value. Uh, sometimes people overvalue things. So I didn't want to be like that guy, uh, in, in my mind, um, like with buyer's remorse or anything, but, um, you know, he was super, like I said, polite about it. Um, and I, like I said, I showed him the data from what I was able to gather online and he's like, let me send you something else. And like I said, I told him, you know, it's not necessary, but uh, he did it anyways. And, um, he sent me another box and, um, I ended up getting more hero clicks and I also got a slab and I, 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 I was just kind of taken back by this one hero click that he gave me. This is a, a Submariner and the whale. I, I, I kind of knew what the name of the whale was at one point. I actually have a Submariner statue there. So I'll probably put this on the shelf. This was actually like such a cool, you know, thing that he threw in. And once again, I got a bunch of more, a bunch more of these hero clicks. This is uh, Mr. Freeze. So definitely, you know, I would say he made up for for the, the problem. I, I I felt bad, and in, in my heart, I really did feel bad about saying something, um, you know, to him, because like I said, um, I, I support him on on YouTube. I follow him on all the social medias. Uh, so yeah, again, he sent it just to me very quickly. I got this right away. And uh, I was able to look at this book, you know, when it came in the mail. And I immediately, you know, I, I thanked him so much for it. I told him that this was basically going to be a PC book. He's like, you know, I couldn't send you a $100 book or anything, which what that wasn't what I was expecting at all. Um, but this book here uh, is Avengers number 47. This is the first appearance of Dane Whitman. Becomes the new Black Knight in the next issue. So this is such a cool book. It's from 67. And this is a 5.5. So I am super happy that he sent me this book. Uh, this is more of a PC book for me. Um, I actually have Giant Man in that classic uh, costume in a 12-inch figure. So very cool. I'm, I'm slowly kind of collecting the, the Avengers run. I'm, I'm obviously collecting, uh, you know, Ant-Man in the Tales to Astonish run as well. Uh, so this is really, like I said, this is an awesome book. I'm very happy to have it. Um, he is, like I said, and ultimately he is, he is an awesome guy. And, and like I said, he doesn't know me. I'm, I'm not getting anything from this. I'm not trying to put anything out really negative of him. He did the right thing in, in my eyes. I think if I had uh, advertised something being a certain price and it wasn't that, I would make it right. I, I think that's what the right person would do. Um, some people, would, like I said, would have the mindset of, well, you know, it's a mystery box and this is what it is and... It, you took a risk and, and then, and then that's fine. I have, I look at it both ways and I'm, I'm okay with, with it both ways. Um, but like I said, would I buy another box from him? Absolutely. I'm very happy. Like I said, with the experience of buying from him. Um, and like I said, I hope that this doesn't go negative on him. And I, and if it goes negative on me, I, you know, I can, I apologize. Um, I mean, what would you have done? I think most people probably would have just not said anything at all. So if you're just catching this for the first time, you know, on, on my channel, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you buy a box from him. Uh, I know now he's kind of, when he does his whatnot shows, he's loading them either right before the show or uh, the day of the show. So you're not able to get it 
pre early like kind of like pre-order like you like i did before but um yeah that's pretty much going to wrap this up i'm going to have another unboxing it's going to be a silver age unboxing i have some books that i just got in recently for the pc that i'm super excited to to unbox and show so again if you've watched this all the way i thank you for taking the time to check out this video and uh be sure to check out his channel be sure to follow him on whatnot he's like i said i i love him as a seller i think he's very entertaining and the new rebranding of his uh, channel, I think, is greater or it's, it's better than before. It's, it's much better now. Uh, he's going over things uh, that he collects, things that I collect, video games, things like that. So it's, I think he's more entertaining now than he was before. He's not screaming at you. He's not really loud and, and, uh, and boisterous. I, I think he's kind of uh, toned it down a little bit, which I think is great. I, I love his channel. Be sure to check him out. And uh, the links to my videos that I unboxed before, I'm going to put it in the description, description. So thanks again. Appreciate it. Until the next time. Bye.